Hey everybody, Garrett Claridge here. Today I'm in my grandfather's garage and uh, I noticed the stereo was a little messed up in here. Let me show you what's going on. They actually have a nice little component system in here. This is an old Philips. This is the PA5110B amplifier. That's a pretty solid old unit. And there's the old uh, tuner that matched it. And then a Kenwood 5 disc player. I don't even know if these guys have any CDs. <laughs> Now the speaker setup in here is what really caught my attention. We got a couple of these Iowa little boombox speakers. And here's where it gets real fun. We have a set of Paradigm bookshelf speakers. And then also these old realistic either Optimus or Nova speakers here. These are going to be a lot of fun. There was actually two of these big speakers in here. There was another one just sitting on the floor. And apparently it started popping randomly. So. It, I don't know if it exists anymore. I'm going to have to take a look. Here's another Paradigm. Looks like it's mounted upside down, actually. So I'm looking through all these trucks looking for the speaker cabinet that apparently is still around. It's going to look pretty raunchy. It's going to be good. But uh, just a little off topic here. Look at this. I love this. This old truck. I think those are uh, pyramid speakers in here. And then, yeah. This guy had it pimped out, man. The equalizer. It's a freaking wicked old plow truck. All green. <laughs> I love it. It's actually, I think it's a crane truck or something. Plow and crane truck? I don't know. Half these trucks are plows too. Okay, so there's a problem. This truck is not a truck. It's actually a trailer. It's a truck that's been cut off and turned into a fucking trailer. Yes. Every time I try to get in the back of it, the whole cocksucker flips up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can get the Look at this. Fuck. That's looking good. So it's a few days later and I brought all the speakers back to the workshop here. We have the Paradigms on the bench. There's the one Iowa, the other one was blown stiff, and the two realistic Novas. So I ended up having a little accident while I was taking the Paradigms off the wall. Instead of grabbing the stepladder like I should have, I jumped up on their big air compressor, ended up holding one of these Paradigms over my head, launching it backwards, and then, I don't know, I guess I threw the speaker first and I fell right behind it and I ended up falling in like this uh, weird stuntman tuck and roll kind of position but I didn't think it was a big deal at first but after a couple days I'm starting to feel the pain <laughs> oh crap so that's what I thought maybe it was blown before but chances are when you drop a speaker off the ceiling the woofer locks up that one's working fine see what the heck's going on in here. Oh, super dusty. Ugh. So these are at the stage where the foam is actually just about to let go. You can see the glue let go and a couple little cracks, but it is a little harder to rip this foam than normal. Well, normal I mean... <laughs> You know, rotten foam. And this one, it would have worked until someone did like a good song, you know?
my god. Whoa. Oh, we got. Oh shit, it's on fire in here. Okay. <laughs> wow. Melty. I was going to say it was pouring out the back here. But that's not as interesting as what was going on in the front. Holy. It looks like a chimney. Here's that little Iowa boombox speaker. Iowa. <laughs> You know what, guys? I think the tweeter's fake in here. <laughs> really? Okay. Nice. Looks like they had a... Oh, there's a little piso in there. Is it? No way. There is. Ah, there's a little piso disc in the bottom of this. You'd probably never be able to hear that. So here we have an old pair of realistic Nova 7Bs. I have the one on the right plugged in. That's the one I pulled out of the dump trailer. Just going to see if that even works at all. Oh yeah. aren't working in it. Possibly the crossover. It wasn't the switch on the back. Probably gonna find a mouse in here. <laughs> oh, look at that! The old ones used the like a like an aluminum basket that would break real easy, but that's just a normal one. I'm gonna get zapped if I don't turn that amp off. Here's the coil they used, nice and big. <laughs> We definitely have tweeters on this one. So I'm thinking this is the only tweeter that's actually working in these cabinets. Not for long. <laughs> nice. A little bit of smoke.
What are the chances these still work after all that bashing around? These are those paradigm tweeters. You had to take the box apart to get them out. These are Vifa, made in Denmark. We have eight ohms on them. Nice dome. Very quality stuff they use in Paradigm. Ah, there she goes. Oh, that was moving around quite a bit. Well, that's about it for my granddad's old stereo. <laughs> you be sure to have yourself a nice fucking day.